Hello and welcome to More Gaming. I'm your host, Joe Moore here, and we have for you week one of the CDL. Um, I'm not sure exactly what CDL stands for because I didn't double check on Twitter before. And so um, just know it is a Twitter league, so it's not the normal PML. I know I have my little logos up there, but it's not supposed to be there. So I'll fix that for next week. But we do have this week, and as you can see, we have a really stacked squad for us and obviously he also has a pretty scary team on his side as well so we're gonna go ahead and talk about what we're doing here um, I'm predicting a Rotom lead or even Skarmory or Klepki so I'm gonna go ahead and do my Rune Regis uh, to get my rocks up if he does leave Ro uh, if he does lead Rotom um, I'm predicting a trick and I'm gonna switch in my ditto So if he does trick or I mean He can even bolt switch if he wants to but I doubt he would But uh, I really don't want to get tricked into uh, scarf on Rune Regis here And also I would like to thank David of GS Kamikaze for helping me build my team Oh, okay, here we go. We got a Darmanitan lead. Not what I was expecting. Okay, let's see what our Darmanitan check is. Whew, nothing. We don't have one. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and... Can we take a hit with Grimmsnarl here? Because I know we can't take a hit with Runrigus. Or can we just go ahead and go jolly, uh, jolly here? <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead and go Grimstar here. I do believe we live a hit. We'll we'll see here. But we don't want to lose Runerigus so early. We do want to get our rocks up for uh, late game at least. So he does go Ice Punch here, which is a real good move. But we do happen to live it. Good thing it was an Ice Cold Crash. Alright, and I'm predicting Scarf, so I'm going to go ahead and Thunder Wave this thing so we can have an easier time with it. So we connect with the Thunder Wave, which is great. So if it is Scarfed, it's no longer a big issue. But it potentially still is an issue. You know, it's still a Darmanitan, hits pretty hard. So you never know. Okay, let's see... It's at full health right now. Let's go ahead and go... We're going to go ahead and just pull off this Corviknight thing here. We're going to go ahead and max it. And go, go max steel. I mean, it is pretty risky, but we're going to go ahead and get our... D-Max off early, or should we? What other Pokemon does he have in the back? You know what? I think we're safe here. Let's go ahead and Dynamax. Oh, okay. So he switches Darmanitan, which is interesting. He goes to Skarmory here. Not as good for us, but still not bad. It can't whirlwind us out. And we are still building up... Uh, our stats so we can uh, work on our power trip set so let's see what he decides to do here he probably wasn't expecting an offensive Corviknight or she I'm not exactly sure uh, the gender of who I'm battling but I do know the name it's Kel so I'm assuming a guy but it could be a girl you never know alright so his stats go our stats go up defense is raised which is good uh, I'm going to go ahead and go for a max airstream just to get some speed up. And also because, you know, I'm, it's not going to hit hard anyway. So he's probably just going to stall us out till we get our... What do you call? He'll probably stall us out till he gets uh, a chance to whirlwind us. So we're going to go ahead and go for another max... Uh, 
Max Steel here. Get our defense up and hopefully a power trip can knock it out so he can't whirlwind us out. Because then that'd be kind of a waste of our, our Corviknight set here. Okay, so he goes body press. That's going to be super effective. And it should take out our weakness policy set. Oh, it doesn't. Interesting. Okay. Well, hopefully he doesn't have Whirlwind, because we're going to go Power Trip here, and hopefully we knock it out. We are plus three stats. I don't know exactly how much it's going to do. Ooh, nothing. Ooh, and Rocky Helmet. Okay, so we kind of waste our Dynamax there, but, you know, week one jitters. It's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and Roost here. And hopefully he whirlwinds on this turn. Okay, so he's just going to go body press. Which does a good amount of damage. Defensive stats are pretty high. Okay, let's see what we got here. Clearly can't go for power trip, so we're going to have to abandon that set. Let's go ahead and go Latios here and get a Thunderbolt off. So, so far, so tough. Uh, both of us are pretty much, you know, dealing the damage. He does have the upper hand, though, because he still has his Dynamax. Let's go ahead and get a Thunderbolt off here. He doesn't have a ground type, I don't think, so this should hit pretty much anything if he decides to switch. But really hoping to take out the Skarmory here. It's most likely sturdy, so I might have to hit it twice. Okay, so he does switch out here. Who does he go to? He goes to Rotom, which is a very good play on his part. He's going to take this very well. Um, I'm assuming it's Scarfed, but I'm going to go ahead and just go for the Draco Meteor here. Because if it's not, we get a real good damage output on it. Okay, so it's not Scarfed, and this should knock it out. Oh, no, it lives on one. All right, uh, but we do get a, a jetpack switch, so we're safe there. And let's go ahead and go Jolly here. We are we're scarfed, so hopefully he has Volt Switch on it, and we can take advantage of that on this next turn. I think Jolly should be able to live anything this thing decides to hit us with. Yeah, I figured a Shadow Ball, so I didn't want to go to Runrigus. Ooh, and does a good amount of damage to us. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go for the Volt Switch here to knock this thing out. And I didn't want to use Ditto like this because I didn't want to waste it. But it, it is the... It is the prime Pokemon to take on uh, a Rotom, expecting the, you know, the move it was going to use. Okay, so we get the initiative here. Let's go ahead and go to Rune Regis here, because we don't mind. We can't get Thunder Waved. We don't mind if it does something to us here. It does have Skarmory still in the back. So let's just go ahead and go for the rocks. We're going to need this chip damage. Okay, so it does go for the Reflect. So, that is bad for some of my team because we are mostly physically offensive. But that doesn't hurt Latios just yet. And I don't believe Haze gets rid of screens. So I'm just going to go ahead and go for the Earthquake here. All right, now it's all out offensive with the Dazzling Gleam. We take it pretty well. We should be able to take uh, another hit. And we, our damage output's pretty well, too. All right, we're going to go Phantom Force here to stall out a turn of Reflect. 
I don't want that to hinder our team too bad. So we're, we're going to have to take a Dazzling Gleam here. But at least, uh, hopefully we can get rid of Klefki. Alright, so Rune Regis goes ahead and uses Phantom Force. This should waste about two more turns. So it should have one more turn after if it's not Light Clay. But it most likely is. Oh, and it goes for the light screen, so that's bad for us, because now he's his team is really bulky. But okay, we go ahead and go for the Phantom Force, and let's see what he decides to bring in. I feel if he's going to do anything, yeah, if he's going to bring in Cinderace, he's going to max it. And it is heavy duty boots, it did not take Stealth Rock's damage. So we're going to go ahead and Phantom Force here. I mean, it's probably going to hit us first no matter what. So yeah, here we go. Here's the Dynamax. But we do have Ditto in the back Scarf to, to steal its stats and take it out if need be, which most likely it will need be. But we do got to stall out some of these turns first. And then we could potentially counter sweep with Ditto. Okay, so it does go Mag Darkness here. So it's going to take us out. Alright, and now it is spotter time. We got we to gotta get rid of some mons here, sadly. Um, Corviknight... I'm going to go ahead and send you in to take a hit. Might have to take a Pyro Ball. I could predict the Pyro Ball and make a switch to Latios. What does Latios need to take out on the rest of his team? I mean, potentially the Skarmory, but, you know, the risk. Okay, let's go ahead and go to Latios here. Predicting the Pyro Ball, the, the Max Flare. We should be able to take this pretty well. Well, not pretty well. It's a Dynamax hit. But we should be able to live it at least. Okay, we live it. And we're going to have to stay in here because we don't have a chance to... We don't have a chance to live the rocks. So we're just going to go ahead and push Draco Meteor. I doubt we're faster. Yeah, he's, he's max speed for sure. And the max darkness takes us out, but it's not over yet. So we could potentially go Ditto here, or we can try to go Draco's ult. Um... I'm going to go Ditto here. We are Scarfed, so we'll, we'll get the first hit. And we can scout out his set at the same time. So let's see if we have a chance to take this thing out here. Interesting. Okay. So... I'm going to be faster. I'm going to go for the high jump kick. This should knock it out. So Cinderace uses Sucker Punch and gets us out. Oh no, that's not good for us. That was not good at all. Well, the Reflect wore off, and now it's time for Draco's ult to hopefully take us out of the pinch here. So we're going to go ahead and go for the Bolt Beak here. It's our strongest move. Hopefully it can knock it out. 
It's heavy duty boots, so it shouldn't be sashed. Well, it's not sashed, so hopefully we can take it out. But it all depends on this. We are blunder policy. Uh, if we miss, it might not be a good thing. Okay, so he's faster. Let's hope he misses. He does not. That's fine. Bolt beat comes off. And, oh, we don't knock it out. So I think that pretty much wraps it up here. Damn, that sucks. Well, you know, like I said, week one jitters, it's going to happen. So uh, GG to uh, Kel. Because uh, Corviknight's not going to sweep this up here at all. Alright guys, well thank you guys for watching and hopefully we can do better next week.